Look at that smoothie. That is a good smoothie, look at this. Sign of a good smoothie, straw stands up by itself. Lovely. How's it going everyone? David from DoD Media. Happy Saturday. Today I've got a tutorial for you which is how you can create this awesome right on effect in After Effects. All you need is a nice font and a can-do attitude. So let's jump into Okay, so we're in After Effects, we've got a composition which is a full HD comp with 24 frames a second. It's 10 seconds long and a black background. Lovely. We're going to come up to the text icon up here and just double click it and it's going to create a new text element and we'll call this subscribe. Okay, we're just going to center this like so and let's just scale it up a bit because it's easier to write on that way. Okay, then we're going to come up to this icon up here, pen tool or just hit G on your keyboard. And we're going to zoom in nice and close to the first letter. And what we're essentially going to do is draw on as we would draw on by hand. So I'm going to start from this top corner here and draw my way onto the S as if I were drawing this by hand with a pen. And I'm going to start off clicking very close together because the closer you click together, the longer it will take to reveal that section. And so if you imagine you're starting to draw, you're not gonna be at full speed just yet. You're gonna just be starting out. And as you actually get along the letter like here, then you can really start to space it out because that's where you'd be drawing a lot faster. But on corners, you wouldn't. It's really straight lines and really the middle of the letter where you'd be going very fast. And the ends and the corners, you'd be going nice and slowly. So there you go, that's our first letter done. Click away, click back on, and it's gonna create a new mask, and then just draw on again with the second letter. And again, starting with the points closer together, and then as the mask goes along, as the letter expands, you space them out a little bit more, and so on and so forth. And just work your way through all of the letters by doing this method until you have covered them all. So again, click away, click back on, start a new mask. Now for this part here, this B, because you would write this letter in two strokes, you wouldn't do it like one stroke like you would with U and S. You would do this in one stroke there, and then you might lift the pen up and bring it back in over here, and then start drawing again. So what you can actually do is just click away and create a new mask on that same letter, and just draw it in there. That way you don't need to worry about having to kind of like re-angle your mask and everything. And there you go, that's all the masking you need to do. You just need to draw on over the letters as you would draw them by hand. Next up, you come to Effects and Presets and type in Stroke. And under Generate Stroke, just apply that to your text layer. And then we're gonna tick the All Masks button and make sure you keep Stroke sequentially ticked. Because if you hit M on your keyboard, you can actually see all of the different masks that you've created in the order that you created them. So that's very important. Otherwise, your letters are gonna start drawing on randomly. Now, if you drag the brush size up until it actually covers all of the letters, or at least most of the letter, and then change the paint style to reveal original image, then what you can do is keyframe end when you're at the very start there, drag that down to zero, and then skip ahead to one or two seconds and drag that back up to 100. And now if you play this back, lovely. Nice little, uh, nice little handwriting going on there. It's a little bit quick. You could probably slow this down to like two seconds and see how that works. Much better. Now for this effect, I'd really recommend that you use a font like Paint or something that is, something that's hand-drawn, something that's charcoaled on, something that's painted on, something that isn't a geometric typeface because it just won't look as good. It won't look good like it's hand-drawn if it's typed. It just, that doesn't work. You really need it to be this kind of uneven lettering for the effect to really look good. And that's basically how you do it, to be honest. Nothing else to it. All right, I hope you found this useful. I hope you handwrite stuff away now in After Effects and have fun doing it. Let me know if you have any tips or comments or suggestions or questions 
in the comments section. I'll try and get back to you. If there's anything really helpful, you may win something free from my store. Hit that like button or thumbs up button. Give this a subscribe. I've completely lost my track now. Give this a thumbs up if you liked what you saw. Hit that subscribe button to get more videos from me at DoD Media. Hit the little bell there to get notified when a new one comes out, which is going to be every Wednesday and Saturday for now. In the next episode, I'll be announcing who won the February giveaway for the full copy of Sinkela. You've still got four days, four days, four days to participate in the link in the description if you want to get yourself a full license for the syncing software, which is awesome. As well as that, I'll be answering some of the questions that I received on Instagram, on YouTube, and I'll compile them all into a Q&A for you. See you on Wednesday.